Hello, I'm Don Horsley and I am the San Mateo County Supervisor representing District 3, which stretches along the entire coast side of the county from Pacifica to the Santa Cruz County border and also includes the cities of Half Moon Bay, San Carlos, Woodside, Atherton, Portola Valley, and parts of Belmont and Menlo Park. It's a diverse and exciting part of a great county, and I'm so honored to go to work every day making county government more responsive to the people who live here. In my first term, we've opened a new Devil Slide Trail Park as a jewel in the Parks Department, and we've upgraded many of our other local parks as well. We've also begun a project to build an entirely new mental health facility to replace the aging Coeur d'Alene Center. These are two projects, our bookends, showcasing how the county works on a wide spectrum of quality of life issues for our residents. If you include the new county jail with its cutting edge programs for inmate rehabilitation and our various health clinics linked to the county hospital, you can see how comprehensive the county's activities really are. While I am proud of partnering with my fellow supervisors in tackling countywide issues, I'm particularly excited about zeroing in on specific District 3 challenges. In my first term, I have worked on such projects as the ongoing flooding of Pescadero, developing migrant farm worker housing, creating expanded medical clinics to reach our underserved population, and expanding safe bicycle routes throughout the county. I spearheaded an effort to have the county take over the Moss Beach Park when it was threatened with development, and have also enhanced the effectiveness of county-operated water systems through the acquisition of equipment and new storage facilities. Working with our residents and local water districts, we are striving to save water in what continues to be a drought-threatened region. As you all know, our roads are becoming increasingly gridlocked and the solutions are not easy. We are blessed with being one of the most attractive regions in the world, but that brings problems along with it. Safe transportation corridors and effective planning for future infrastructure improvements are at the top of my to-do list. Providing affordable housing and public transportation are long-term goals and the county is deeply involved in both areas. As a board member of HART, the Housing Endowment and Regional Trust of San Mateo County, I'm committed to finding resources to support affordable housing for our residents. As a member of the San Mateo County Transportation Authority, I help make the decisions about how to spend crucial tax dollars on the local transportation infrastructure. All these decisions are made with careful consideration of the public's input. I have implemented an ongoing series of agricultural workshops and will continue to hold them in the future. The first workshop drew 150 members of our community who understand the importance of our agricultural heritage and the necessity of working together to ensure its future. Together, we have developed priorities that will help to keep the San Mateo County agricultural community flourishing. My full support goes to Supervisor Carol Groom's efforts to ensure all children in San Mateo County, even those in underperforming schools, are able to read by the time they're in third grade. The program is called the and is a great example of collaboration between the county and local school districts. It's true that children learn to read through the third grade, but after that, they are reading to learn. And sometimes people ask me what the county government does as opposed to city or state or national governments. People who do not need specific county services don't necessarily think of them as essential, but they are critical for thousands of people. One out of seven residents in the county receives some type of medical or human service assistance. No child is without health insurance in San Mateo County, and there is a political philosophy that entails finding housing for every homeless person. San Mateo County is truly a wonderful place to live and work, I was once a police officer in the city of Pacifica and I lived in Moss Beach and as a member of the Sheriff's Department and eventually as the Sheriff, I traveled throughout the county and especially the 3rd District learning all about its needs and rewards. This is truly a beautiful and interesting part of the world and I look forward to continuing to serve San Mateo County in a second term as your supervisor. It has been an honor to have your trust and support as the former Sheriff and for these past few years as a county supervisor. I love the challenge of working for you and truly believe that I have been able to make a difference because of my experience and my dedication. Like you, I love San Mateo County and the Coast Site. I ask for your support on June 3rd so that I may continue to dedicate all of my time and energy to this great responsibility. Hello, my name is Michael Stogner and I am a candidate union member's 
not the union organization, will find that I've supported them as moms and dads and I've supported their efforts in getting the best uh, representation. Um, as far as <coughs> county issues, I am opposed to One Bay Area Plan and I'm opposed to an organization called ICLE and I would uh, recommend that you do some homework and find out what those two programs are and then you can you can see what uh, why I am that uh, taking that position um, also I've asked uh, I've worked in the past as a victim's advocate in the county and uh, I've learned that there are some disparities that uh, take place in our system so I'm asking for a comprehensive review or performance review audits for all of our departments in San Mateo County, which I think will help uh, in, in the efficiency of our offices. It would also help in the category of corruption. Uh, if everybody is accountable for what kind of work comes through their organization, I think that's very important. Um, I would also like to bring out uh, to your attention that for the first time in San Mateo County's not in the history, but in recent history. We have a competitive election for the sheriff of San Mateo County, and I would ask you to pay attention to a man named Juan Lopez, and uh, when you get a chance to vote, you actually have to write his name into the ballot. Also at District 2, we have a supervisor race with a man named Mark DePaula running against the incumbent, so I would recommend that you find out about him. Um, one of the things that uh, I think is one of the most important challenges of San Mateo County is our unfunded pension liabilities. And I have uh, consistently recommended that we take care of that, we pay it down. Uh, it's very important that all of our previous employees of San Mateo County know that uh, nothing's going to happen to the promises that we've made to them. I'm also in favor of reducing our jail population of people who are in our jail who have not even been to trial yet. And I also know that's an idea that Juan Lopez shares. So a way to make our jail more efficient. Um, I'm trying to think of, um, I think the main thing to talk about here is the fact that you have a chance to really change the direction of San Mateo County. You have a chance now to put in two different supervisors who are actually more interested in your average citizens versus what we would call organized vote. So I would invite you to take this opportunity Find out who I am, find out who Mark DePaulo is, and find out who Juan Lopez is. And with that, I would say let's vote. Thank you very much.